The Thanksgiving and holiday sales are seriously the best time to stock up your pantries. Have you seen my big pantry? Yeah, I do the bulk of that in November. All right, let's jump into the produce to keep your eyes out on for the month of November. Apples, beets, blackberries, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, carrots, cauliflower, celery, cranberries, eggplant, grapefruit, oranges, parsnip, pears, pomegranate, potatoes, turnip, spinach, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, and winter squash. I hope you didn't try to jot all that down. There's so much more that's in season. So I made a list for you that you can print out. I will have a link to this PDF and down in the description below. So it's a big list of all the produce that's in season for November. But I will say I'm going to miss the farmer's markets now that they're winding down here. I'm going to miss all that fresh produce. So we tried a garden, but we didn't get to really reap the rewards from it this year. Our town had an E. coli problem with the like the irrigation water. It was really weird. So we did not mess around with this whole E. coli thing. And so we didn't really get to take advantage of our garden. I don't have a green thumb, so I am so jealous of anybody that can really garden and uh, get all that bounty. If you had a garden this year, can you let me know how it went for you? What do you do with your harvest after? Do you can, do you preserve, do you dehydrate, do you freeze dry? I would love to know. If you're not much of a gardener like me, I have a solution for you. Let me introduce you to Garden. Garden is a groundbreaking vertical garden system. They have hydroponic technology that allows you to grow 30 plants at the same time and it's designed to use inside your home. It's pretty cool. Each plant grows in an easy to use Y-Pod system that creates a perfect environment to sprout plants in a matter of days. With their growing technology and LED lighting, you'll be growing all without a trace of pesticides and drastically reduces water usage by 95%. We learned about this type of gardening last year and it has intrigued us and we wanted to try this. So when Garden reached out to me, I knew exactly who they were. Garden carefully selects organic, locally sourced, and non-GMO seeds you can pick from over 60 fruits, vegetables, herbs, and flowers. I seriously have a black thumb. I can't keep a house plant, killed them. I've tried growing herbs like on the windowsill, killed them. A succulent plant, you guys. The most easiest thing to keep alive, minimal water, killed it. <laughs> Seriously. We downloaded the Garden app on both our phones, so we're able to connect with Kelby. Kelby, Garden's advanced AI technology, monitors your garden 24-7 using multiple sensors, including cameras, temperature, humidity, and water intake. And with the app, we get alerted like, hey, today's trimming day, or it just gives you the next steps to do. You can even put it on vacation mode. We're leaving in just a few weeks for the holiday season, so it will have food and water ready to go in it, and this is going to be taken care of by the AI. When I say minimal effort, minimal work, I truly mean it. Unlock an exclusive offer by Garden down in the description below, I will have a link for you. Thank you, Garden, for sponsoring today's video. I am highly impressed. You guys, eight weeks. This is what I've got in eight weeks. This is amazing. Are you wondering which produce you can freeze? I have a video for you on 40 things that freeze well. And I have another video on 20 more things that freeze well. So if you're wondering what you can freeze this holiday season, I got you covered. Yeah. <laughs> We did it. We got another freezer. There is a story to this. I've been wanting this freezer for a long time and you think I'd be pretty excited about it, but there's a story and I will share it with you on another video. I have a Costco in Sam's Club haul for you. So October was bananas for us, you guys. I had two conferences I went to back to back. I wanted to grab some snacks and pack them away for the trip. So I went to Costco and I grabbed just a few things. So I picked up from Simple Mills their seed and nut flour sweet thins, honey cinnamon. Oh, they're so good, you guys, so good. And then milk chocolate raisins, yum. And some milk chocolate almonds. I can mix those up in a bag. I did go for their trail mix bags. Snack packs, there's 28 in here for both conferences. And then I'm trying out the Bobo's Oat Bites. There's 12 apple pie stuffed oat bites and 12 strawberry stuffed oat bites. And they look like this. And I already had a strawberry one and it was delicious. Just these little bites, I think these will be perfect. And I, you know, I had it with some water and it was filling. So 
I'm excited to try the apple pie one next. So here are my snacks. Okay, I couldn't wait. The apple one is just as good as the strawberry. So good. I ran into Sam's Club to grab a few things, but I was checking out what was coming in for the holidays. So this time last year, they already had out like all our Thanksgiving go-tos. So I wanted to look at everything, see what they had so far, and check things out. So this is my haul from Sam's Club. Did grab bread. I'm always trying to bake bread. Uh, this week I have a busy schedule and it's my kids' fall break. I'd grab that. Okay, eggs. Five dozen eggs here. And then a bag of the wavy potato chips. Good price on these. And then we'll divvy those out. The bite size perfect pair of potatoes, the honey golds. Look at all those. Oh, they're gonna be so good. Roasted in the oven with garlic and seasoning. Mm -mm -mm. For breakfast, too. Oh, yeah. The Olive Garden dressing. I love this stuff. So, 224 ounces. The organic tender French beans. Oh, I love sauteed green beans. Bananas. Cucumbers. These are the seedless cucumbers. This is two pounds of asparagus and then 2.5 pounds of celery. Prego traditional sauce. Good deal on that. And compared to my lowest price store in my area, which is Walmart. Honey crisp apples. There's four pounds. Good price on those apples. Okay, for the trick-or-treaters, the last time I was at Sam's Club, I bought these Reese's peanut butter cups. Now I grabbed the 100 mini squares Rice Krispie treats. And between the Reese's peanut cup buttercups two packages of the uncured black forest ham for sandwiches we'll end up probably freezing one and then facial tissue we were all out of tissue so 12 boxes of those and it beat out just buying the one um at walmart so it ended up being like a dollar 16 each and then red seedless grapes they look so good look at that oh yeah and then the honey nut cheerios two boxes and then the saltines even though my last sam's club haul i bought one but this was on sale and so we are good for the winter because we go through these when our tummies hurt the boulder canyon chips so we have the olive oil classic sea salt those are good and then the classic sea salt and then the hickory barbecue and the salt pepper, cracked pepper. And this is the Sam's Club haul. So I ran into Costco and also checked out their prices and did a Costco haul as well. And so these groceries were done right when I got back from my second conference. So these are gonna last us the rest of October leading into November. So here is my Costco haul. All right, the Bobo's Oat Bites are so good. So 12 apple and 12 strawberry. They're so good, you guys. And they're grain free, so sweet. The organic lactose free reduced fat milk. There are four half cartons in here of the 2% milk and then the Orgain plant protein drinks they were on sale and yeah we love these there's an 18 pack it's chocolate so good and then some romaine lettuce batteries we go through AA batteries like crazy those were on sale I had to try from simple mills <laughs> they're sweet thins but these are the chocolate brownie ones oh I mean the honey cinnamon grams are so good but we got to try these and then I was super intrigued to try the overnight oat and chia berry fairy. It's like an overnight oat with the chia. So you put it in the fridge. You can go up to two hours or overnight and it puffs up the, the chia. So I'm excited to try that. Some strawberries, two pounds. Green grapes, yum. Some shampoo and conditioner. Kirkland professional salon formula. This works great. And then we're going to try the stuffed pepperoncini duo. It's green and red pepperoncini stuffed with cream cheese and feta. What? Yeah, we're gonna try those. And this is my Costco haul. So we did a live show and Derek and I actually tasted the peppers for you guys. Greek stuffed pepperoncini duos. Green and red pepperoncini stuffed with cream cheese and feta in vegetable oil. That part is a bummer, the vegetable oil. Dab, 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 dab. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Good? Yeah. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Not bad. Mmm. Super creamy. Put these on your uh, charcuterie boards, your grazing boards. These are good. Yeah, they are so good. They didn't disappoint. Join us when we do our live shows. We're going to start to go live once a week. I'm not going to say if they're going to be like on a certain day of the week because of our schedule. So if you haven't caught any of our past lives, click on the live shows 
It'll get you caught up if you haven't been notified or didn't realize that we go live. In our live shows, I give you the tips up front and then we hang out and like talk. Yes, my lives, you will see, could go from anywhere from like an hour and 45 minutes to two and a half hours. The meat in the beginning is all the tips and tricks, then we hang out, and then there's usually some shenanigans. This time we were taste testing the peppers. I absolutely loved the peach salsa that I made last year. We ate through our last jar, so I made more. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is hot. So I have seven small jars in one of the big one, and I have a small jar in the refrigerator. So nine, I made nine jars. You guys, I made it super hot because last time, I was like, it could be hotter. Oh, it's hot. I kept the membranes in the of the jalapeno. Derek is like, this is perfect. I'm like, it's too hot for me. As like we ate through our last jars within the year, man, it, it got hotter. But this is going to be, if we still have one in a year's time, piping hot. We're back in my big pantry. This is the state that it's in right now. We are going through things. I shop my shelves before I head out to the store. So we're getting low on some things. But like I said, a lot of the things I'm gonna pick up are going to be from the sales. But at the end of September, I did shop a case lot sale. Let me show you what I grabbed. Picked up some Progresso soups. This was an amazing deal. If I remember right, I got it for 94 cents a can. I haven't seen it that low in so long. I got a few cans of chicken broth and I got them for 79 cents a can. But again, I'm waiting for the November sales to load up. I'm, I don't know if we'll still see like 49 cents a can for chicken broth, but I do have a price point. I'm looking around 50 cents, close to 49. And if it happens, I'm stocking up. So that sale was so good on the Progresso that I went back and got more. I've not seen it that low in a long time. So I went back and grabbed six more cans. And then I grabbed a case of 12 of the light kidney beans, 12 cream of celery soups, and then these aluminum pans. Perfect timing for the holidays and freezer meals. Just, I got four. because so I have a few left in my food storage room but this deal was so good. And then I grabbed pinto beans, black beans, and gar garbanzo beans. So yes, this was our food storage pantry restock haul. So like I said in the beginning, November is the perfect time to start building up your pantry. Click on this video here where I share with you what you should be stocking up on during the holiday season. And if you're gearing up for Thanksgiving, I have a playlist right here that will take you week by week of what you should be doing to prep for Thanksgiving, if you're hosting or not hosting. All right, I'll meet you over in the next video. Bye.